Good morning and welcome to this episode of The Road to Recovery. It is currently 5.50 a.m. and we're gonna get our workout in right now. So important to work that posterior capsule. So, so important. A lot of people miss out on the scapular plane motions and movements. So we gotta work those. Eric Cresty, the man, giving me this exercise to make sure we're completing correctly. Into wood chop. So we're gonna go at a top position right here, squeezing around right there. You can actually go, yeah, you go a little bit lower. And then the other hand will be down here. He's gonna be straight through. That other foot's gonna be straight right here. Yep, there you go. And he's going to be guided with that chin all the way down and then all the way back up. Really great for pretty much it's a full core movement. I mean, all the way from that position all the way down. Yet another great day. It's a little sunny out here, but we're gonna go for a little walk. Look, if you're someone who wants to get started with their fitness or or their body weight skills or their weight training, whatever it is, doesn't matter what you're doing, just as, as long as you're working, as long as you're moving. I'm gonna tell you right now, one of the biggest excuses that will kind of limit you is just, hey, how do I do one more rep? Hey, how do I get past that set? Hey, how do I get past that exercise that I kind of don't feel comfortable doing? Will you just do it? And that's the thing, like a lot of people, they make excuses about, oh, you know, I have this little injury, or oh, I have to go to the bathroom so I can't really finish a squat or whatever it is. And it's just limiting, it's so limiting. And when you can overcome that, and when you can smash that crap out of the way, your results will be 10 times better. And for me, for instance, my low spine, one thing that I had to overcome was that, hey, I am gonna get better. Hey, I am going to be able to do this exercise. Hey, I will be able to squat. And once I started telling myself that, now I'm squatting, now I'm getting better, now I'm getting stronger. And same thing goes for my shoulder. Today, upper body absolutely was incredible. You know, I did decline bench press, um, no pain, no pain at all. We were doing close grip bench press, as you saw. And then I did weighted pull-ups with even more weight. So this time I did 55 pounds and I did five reps and then I did eight repetitions with 45 pounds, which I am so surprised about because I was not expecting that by any means and then from there we did some um, tricep extensions into bicep uh, TRX bicep curls those things are so tough you just try it out for yourself but what I'm trying to get at with this whole portion of this episode is that you know take out your limiting beliefs like exploit them show yourself what your limiting beliefs are tell yourself what they are and then embrace them and smash right through them because most of the time when we're doing all these exercises, we're doing all these workouts, we kind of just feel like we're going through the motion, right? You know, ah, oh, we had work today, or ah, oh, we had school today, and we have to get, try and get my workout in, and my workout's not the best, my exercises aren't the best, so my results aren't gonna be the best. No, that's not the truth at all. When you can put your mind in that, in that perfect mindset, your mind in that mindset, then everything is possible and you will continuously see progress so that's the road to recovery episode for today i am flying to san diego and then back to la and then to israel so we're doing a bunch of really cool stuff travel vlogs are coming soon thank you so much for tuning in for this episode make sure you comment down below give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next time peace